Hi, hi everyone, welcome to Eden's Secret. So, we have something here. This is one of my new soaps. Um, it's not a new scent, but my uh, DJ Rocks uh, cupcake bath bomb has been so incredibly popular that I've been meaning to do a white and black soap for ages to go with that because obviously it's black and white the cupcake um, and this is the same smell as my son's aftershave and it's magic wonderful thing about being the woman in the house, you get to make the husband wear the aftershave you like, and the same with the son. Luckily they both love the scents that I've chosen for them, um, and I've loved them for at least three years now, and I'm not going to change. So I've tried something a little bit different for me uh, this time. And what I've done, I hope you can see that in the middle I, I put a tube right through through the saw and I try to swell the black into the white in that tube and it's it's made a sort of marble effect which has turned out quite cool. Um, so we're going to cut it and see what it looks like. I don't have a black and white background paper that would have done for this, so um, I just had to go with the gold and silver this time. But I did see some fab new ones at the show um, from the same company that these come from, um, and I'm really excited to buy those. But we've got to wait until the funds are available, <laughs> as with everything. So there you go, hope you can see that okay. <clears throat> now, I'm going to read out the scent notes to you. And what is, for those of you who don't know a great deal about perfumes and fragrances, mind I don't know a lot, uh, but it's surprising what you pick up as you're going along. Um, a lot of the same essential oils pop up in each perfume and so you think well they all must smell the same or they like this one has a lot of sandalwood and vetiver in it so you would expect it to smell of sandalwood and vetiver but it doesn't um, with essential oils there can be well over a hundred different fragrances in that Plus they put all sorts of other ingredients in to lift the scent and drop the scent and make certain essential oils and fragrances because they have fragrances in as well um, to make each different particular fragrances pop or be mellow or certain ones stand out to be stronger than others. So if you have a DJ box Bathroom, you're going to know that you love this smell um, and it starts out with bergamot and cinnamon but again it doesn't smell of cinnamon you can smell the bergamot well I can um, and then we've got this has got a lot of masculine fragrance in there as well so we've got sandalwood vetiver patchouli Amber, which is one of my favourites, um, tonka bean, musk and vanilla and then we've also got orange blossom, again lots of florals in masculine fragrances as well, orange blossom, um, jasmine and honeysuckle and there'll be, that's just a few of them, there'll literally be loads more. As you can see, because there's black in this, it is trailing a bit the colour, but um, we'll sort that out after it's dried out, after a day or so. I tend not to, I don't usually take off that, the trail of colour until later when it's dried on the outside. 
So I'm actually really pleased with how this has turned out. It looks pretty cool. And it's very similar to what I had envisaged. So I know a lot of ladies like masculine smells as well. So obviously this is a man's soap, but it's a unisex scent. And anyone could use it. And it is very strong. It's not unlike the uh, soap that Phil loves of mine, um, Le Mal. It's quite similar to that. But I actually prefer this one. my knife after every cut. Yeah, I really like how that looks. Really, really like it. I made a soap yesterday, which I did video, by the way, but I haven't been able to get it loaded onto the onto YouTube because stupid me, I um I downloaded the latest version of iPhoto on the Mac and it doesn't work like the old iPhoto and it was so easy to upload videos. So I was on the phone to Mac support yesterday for a couple of hours trying to so they could show me how to get it back to how it looked, but we couldn't do it. So we've lost the video, I'm afraid. And that soap is called Emerald Pearl. And that smells sensational as well. It's an awesome candy scent and it's got soda pop scents in there, cola, lemonade, even iron brew um, and although I say it's a candy scent it's not really like Rockstar or Snow Fairy um, but I definitely think it's better than both of those um, and it's purple, gold and green see it pop up on the website it is on there now but there's no photograph of it just want to do again want to do the photographs but do something a little bit different um, to what I normally do I did just want to take a photo of just the saw but it looks a bit bland compared to the last photos I did with all the um, flowers underneath the cake stand so I'll find something and you want it to be about the soap not the decoration don't you might as well cut this last loaf as well while we're here Just ready to cut the last loaf now. I think I need to just 
super fast is a little bit lower or higher, I will check it with around that because so Phil if you're watching I know you I did mention to you ages ago that um, this was going to be the new look Le Mal, that I was going to do the Le Mal black and white but I actually got it wrong because I forgot I was thinking that I used the DJ Rock scent in the Le Mal, but I actually don't I use a different one so don't order this one by mistake Phil is kind of kind of boring. Really love, really love how this one's turned out. This is a success. You know, it's very often you envisage what something's gonna look like, like like my Kenzo kisses, for instance. And it didn't actually end up looking anything like I'd imagined it to look. So when I cut it, it wasn't this good. turned out really really nice just the right amount of black actually um, I didn't want to put too much black in it and no matter what when I've never used a soap with black in it the black does you know your bubbles do go black um, but it doesn't stain your skin or anything like that um, but I actually think it's really cool having a black soap this is black and white but a black soap still on your bath looks really, really cool. So there you go. This is DJ Rocks. Hope you like it. I love it. I'll see you next time. Next up, it's going to be Roxy's Bath and Body Shop Review Video. See you next time. Hi, hi everyone. Welcome back to Eden's Secret. Um, I'm really gutted. I did a cutting video of this and oh there was a there was a new app on the Mac and I set that off to go um, <coughs> sorry set off that off to download and the video stopped uploading um, so I took the wire out because I took the wire out and some of it had uploaded now when I push the wire back into the camera it won't upload it because it's looking like it's not a new video. So I can't do a cutting video of this one, I'm so so sorry. But anyway, what I did want to tell you is that this is one of my new soaps. It's an absolutely awesome scent. One of my favourites, really really is a personal favourite of mine and this is called Emerald Pearl um, it's a real fantastic candy fragrance this but it's not like Rockstar or Candy Fluff or anything like that it's just magnificent um, it's got um, lemonade scent in there it's also got cola scents, iron brew scents soda pop, um, lemon, lime, 
Um, it, it even has, but don't think it smells of this, it has cinnamon in it, but um, you can't smell the cinnamon. The cinnamon is what gives it that bubbly, bright note, like a, a pop. We call it pop in the UK. Well, we call it pop in the northeast. I don't know what people call fizzy juice everywhere else. I think it's soda in the States. I haven't a clue what it is in Australia. Um, but over here, we call it pop. Um, anyway, you can see I've got a fabulous swirl going on. Um, Linda from the Scented Dove has been knocking out some awesome swirls and it just really re-excited me with um, swirls and soaps again um, so I've got the bug to do some more swirls and that's what I'm going to be doing for a few more videos um, I was going to call this Planet Magic um, because it is a really magical smell as well um, and I mentioned rock star and rock candy fluff I mean um, it isn't like those at all but compared to those this far outshines those two scents as far as I'm concerned it does um, and you can see we've got a nice gold, purple and green swell going on um, and this is, is a um, scent that darkens so that's why I've done the darker colours and I'm hoping that it isn't going to discolour. I have made it in these colours before and um, it was okay so I'm hope I don't think it'll go too brown but you can't do a light soap in this colour at all it just doesn't work um, so there you go, you can see I've popped the Hershey's on the top and this time they're like a deep purple colour and we've also got some gold mica on the top there, you can see it and another thing I just wanted to show you a few videos ago I showed you um, some of the pleated paper cups um, they're on the website 10 for £1.30 so that's 13p each I just wanted to show you these that I just bought from eBay and there are 24 here and I paid 6 25 for those so that is 26 plus p each uh, so mine are really selling at cost so if anybody wants those get on there and grab a bargain while you can I mean it's no great loss if I don't sell loads I'll find a use for them somehow um, just that so many have already ordered and so many people had asked about the paper pleated paper cups um, I thought I might as well put them on the website but like I said I had 3,000 I think I've maybe sold about probably probably about 500 already um, so if you want any of those just pop to the website and um, now back to the soap so that's it if you are interested in emerald pearl pop to the website www.edensecret.co.uk our next video is going to be of Boxy's Bath and Body Shop. Now, I've had a look on Maria's website today and I saw it says Roxana Marie. So, interested to know what that's all about. Um, but anyway, that's the next video. I'll see you very, very soon, everyone. Have a great day. Thanks for watching wherever you are in the world. I'm really grateful. I know I always say that. But I keep saying it because there's new viewers coming all the time. Um, and I just want to let you know, all of you, I'm so grateful to you. Um, that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.